Ezekiel 34 to 36. And the word of Yahweh came to me saying, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel. Prophesy and tell them, even the shepherds. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. Woe to the shepherds of Israel who feed themselves. Should not the shepherds feed the sheep? You eat the fat and clothe yourself in the wool. You slaughter the fatlings, but you do not feed the sheep. You have not strengthened the diseased. You have not healed that which was sick. You have not bound up that which was broken. You have not brought back that which was driven away. You have not sought out that which was lost, but you have ruled over them with force and with rigor so that they are scattered because there, because there was no shepherd and they became fo food to all the animals of the field and were scattered. My sheep wandered through all the mountains and on every high hill, hill on every high hill. Yes, my sheep were scattered on all the surface of the earth. There was no one who searched or sought. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of Yahweh. As I live, says Adonai Yahweh, surely because my sheep became prey and my sheep became food to all the animals of the field because there was no shepherd, my shepherds did not search for my sheep, but the shepherd fed themselves and did not feed my sheep. Therefore, O shepherds, hear the word of Yahweh. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. Behold, I am against the shepherds. I will require my sheep at their hand and cause them to cease from feeding the sheep. The shepherds will not feed themselves anymore. I will deliver my sheep from their mouth that they may not be food for them. For this is what Adonai Yahweh says. Behold, I myself, even I, will search for my sheep and I will seek them out. As a shepherd seeks out his flock in the day that he is among his sheep that are scattered abroad, so I will seek out my sheep. I will deliver them out of all places where they have been scattered in the cloudy and dark day. I will bring them out from the peoples. I will gather them from the countries, and I will bring them into, our own land, into their own land. I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the ravines and all the inhabited places of the country. I will feed them with the good pasture and their food will be on the mountains of the height of Israel. There, there they will lie down in a good fold and they will feed on fat pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep and I will make them to lie down, says Adonai Yahweh. I will seek that which was lost and I will bring back that which was driven away. I will bind up that which was broken. I will strengthen that which was sick. I will destroy the fat and the strong, and I will feed them in justice. As for you, O my flock, this is what Adonai Yahweh says, Behold, I judge between sheep and sheep, the rams and the male goats. Does it seem a small thing to you that to have fed on the good pasture? But you must tread down with your feet the residue of your pasture. And to you and to have drunk of the clear waters, but you must have but must you foul the residue with your feet? As for my sheep, they eat that which have trodden with your feet, and they drink that which you have fouled with your feet. Therefore, this is what Adonai Yahweh says to them Behold, I, even I, will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep, because you thrust with side and with shoulders, and push all the deceased with your horns, until you have scattered them abroad. Therefore I will save my flock, and they will no more be a prey. I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set up one shepherd over them, and he will feed them, even my servant David. He will feed them, and he will be their shepherd. I, Yahweh, will be their God, and my servant David, prince among them. I, Yahweh, have spoken it. I make them... I will make them I will make with them a covenant of shalom. I will cause evil animals to cease out of their land and will dwell securely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. I will make them and the places around my hill a blessing, and I will cause the shower to come down in its season. There will be a shower of blessings, the tree of the field 
will yield its fruit and the earth will yield its increase and they will be secure in their land. Then they will know that I am Yahweh. When I have broken the bars of their yoke and have delivered them out of the hand of those who have who made slaves of them, they will know they will no more be a prey to the nations. Neither will the animals of the earth devour them, but they will dwell securely and no one will make them afraid. I will raise up to them a plantation for renown and they will no more be consumed with famine in the land and not bear the shame of the nations any more. They will know that I, Yahweh, their God, am with them, and that they, the house of Israel, are my people. Says Adonai, Yahweh, you are my sheep, the sheep of my pasture, are men, and I am your God, says Adonai, Yahweh. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Mount Seir, and prophesy against it, and tell it, This is what Adonai Yahweh says, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against you, and will stretch out my hand against you, and will make you a desolation, an astonishment. I will lay your cities waste, and you will be desolate. Then you will know that I am Yahweh. Because you have had a perpetual hostility, and have given over the sons of Israel to the power of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time of of their iniquity of the end. Therefore, as I live, says Adonai Yahweh, I will prepare you for the blood, and blood will pursue you, since you have not hated blood. Therefore, blood will pursue you. Thus I will make Mount Seir an astonishment and a desolation, and I will cut off from it him who passes through him who returns. I will fill its mountains with its slain. The slain with the sword will fall on your in your heel, in your heel, in your hills, in your valley, and in your ravines, and I will make you a perpetual desolation, and your cities will not be inhabited. Then you will know that I am Yahweh. <laughs> because you have said, these two nations and these two countries will be mine, and we'll, we will possess it, whereas Yahweh was there. Therefore, as I live, says Adonai Yahweh, I will do according to your anger and according to your envy, which you have shown out of your hatred against them. And I will make myself known among them when I judge you. And you will know that I, Yahweh, have heard all your insults, which you have spoken against the mountains of Israel, saying, They have been laid desolate. They have been given us to devour. You have magnified yourself against me with your mouth, and I have multiplied your words against me. I have heard it. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. When the whole earth rejoices, I will make you desolate. As you rejoiced over the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, so I will do to you. You will be desolate, O Mount Seir, and all Edom, all of it. Then they will know that I am Yahweh. And you, son of man, Prophesy to the mountains of Israel and say, You mountains of Israel, hear the word of Yahweh. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. Because the enemy has said against you, Aha, and the ancient high places are our possessions, therefore prophesy and say, This is what Adonai Yahweh says. Because even, even because they have been made desolate and swallowed you up on every side, that you might be a possession to the residue of the nations, and you have spoken in the lips of the talkers an evil report of the people. Therefore, you mountains of Israel, hear the word of Adonai Yahweh. This is what Adonai Yahweh says to the mountains and to the hills, to the ravines, to the valleys, to, to, to the desolate places and to the cities that are forsaken, which you have become prey and derision to the residue of the nations all around. Therefore, this is what Adonai Yahweh says. Surely in the fire of my jealousy... I have spoken against the residue of the nations and against all Edom, that they have appointed my land to themselves for a possession with the joy of all their heart, with despite, with despite of soul, to cast it out for prey. Therefore prophesy concerning Eretz Yisrael, and tell the mountains, the hills, the ravines, the valleys, this is what Adonai Yahweh says. Behold, I have spoken in my jealousy and in my wrath. Because you have borne the shame of the nations, therefore this is what Adonai Yahweh says. I have sworn that surely the nations which are around you will bear their shame. But you, mountains of Israel, you shall shoot out your branches and yield your fruit to my people Israel. For they are at, 
at hand to come. For behold, I am with you and will come to you, and you will be tilled and sowed and sown. I will multiply men on you, all the house of Israel, even all of it. The cities will be inhabited, and the, pla- the waste places will be built. I will multiply man and animal on you. They will, they will increase and be fruitful. I will cause you to be inhabitant as, as you were before, and you will do better than at your beginnings. Then you will know that I am Yahweh. Yes, I will cause men to walk on you, even my people Israel. They will possess you, and you will be their inheritance. And you will never again bereave them on their children. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. Because they say to you, you are a devourer of men and have been a bereaver of your nation. Therefore, you shall no longer devour men and no longer bereave your nation, says Adonai Yahweh. I will not let you hear the shame of the nations any more. You will not bear the reproach of the peoples any more. And you will not cause your nations to stumble any more, says Adonai Yahweh. Moreover, the word of Yahweh came to me, saying, Son of man, when the house of Israel lived in their own land, they defiled it by their their ways and by their deeds. Their way before me was as the uncleanliness of a woman in her impurity. Therefore, I poured out my wrath on them with the blood which they have poured out on the land. And because they have defiled it with their idols, I scattered them among the nations, and they were dispersed through the countries. I judged them according to their way and according to their deeds. When they came to the nations where they went, they profaned my holy name. In that men said to them, There are the people of Yahweh, and have left his land. But I had respect for my holy name, which the house of Israel has profaned among the nations where they went. Therefore tell the house of Israel, This is what Adonai Yahweh says, I do not do this for your sake, house of Israel, but for my holy name, which you have profaned among the nations where you went. I will sanctify my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, which you have profaned among them. Then the nations will know that I am Yahweh, says Adonai Yahweh, when I shall be sanctified and before their eyes. For I will take you from among the nations and gather you out of all the countries and will bring you into your own land. I will sprinkle clean water on you and you will be clean. I will cleanse you from all your filthiness and from all your idols. I will give you a new heart, and I will put a new spirit within you. I will take away the the stony heart out of your flesh, and I will give you a heart of flesh. I will put my ruach within you and cause you to walk in my statutes, and you will keep my ordinances and do them. You will dwell in the land, then I will give you will dwell in the land that I gave to your fathers. You will be my people, and I will be your God. I will save you from all your uncleanliness. I will call you for for the gain, and will multiply it, and lay no famine on you. I will multiply the fruit of your tree and increase of the field, that you may receive no more the reproach of famine among the nations. Then you will remember your evil ways and your deeds, that they were not good. And you will loathe yourself in your own sight for your iniquities and for your abominations. I do not do this for your sake, says Adonai Yahweh. Let it be known to you. Be ashamed and confounded for your ways, house of Israel. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. In the day that I cleanse you from all your iniquities, I will cause the cities to be inhabited, and the laid and the waste places will be built. The land that will be desolate will be tilled, and instead of being the desolation in the sight of all who pass by, and they will say, This land that was desolate has become like the Garden of Eden, and the waste, desolate, and ruined cities are fortified and inhabited. Then the nations that are left around you will know that I am Yahweh. Have built the ruined places and planted that which was desolate. I, Yahweh, have spoken it, and I will do it. This is what Adonai Yahweh says. For this, moreover, I will be inquired of it by the house of Israel to do it for them. I will increase them with men like a flock, as the flock for sacrifice, as the flock of Jerusalem in her appointed feasts, so the waste places in the field of flocks of men, they will know that I am Yahweh.